Rhinos are herbivorous mammals which are famous for their long horns called antlers. There are two main species of rhino, the black rhino Dicerose bicornis, and the white rhino Serrata, Arium simum. Here is some detailed information about. Black Rhino Dicerose bicornis. The black rhino is an endangered species. The black rhino's natural habitat includes grasslands, savannas and forests in Africa. They have brownish-gray skin, which helps them adapt to their natural environment. Black rhinos tend to be smaller and lighter compared to the white rhinoceros. Its distinctive feature is that it has two horns. White Rhino Serrata, Arium simum. There are two subspecies of white rhino. Southern white rhino and northern white rhino. Their main habitat is the savanna of southern Africa. White rhinos are larger than black rhinos and have lighter skin. The name white does not refer to skin color, but comes from the Afrikaans word meaning wide, which refers to their wide mouths. White rhinos have two horns that are quite large and strong. Threats to Rhinos One of the main threats to rhinos is illegal poaching for their horns which are considered to have high commercial value, especially in Asian markets. Loss of natural habitat is also a serious problem for rhinos. Conservation efforts are being made to protect rhinos, including relocation, monitoring and law enforcement programs to tackle illegal hunting. Behavior and Food Rhinos are solitary animals and quite shy. They tend to be active at night or at dusk. Most rhinos are herbivores and eat grass, leaves, branches, and fruit. Their complicated digestive system helps them digest foods whose fiber is difficult to digest. Reproduction the gestation period for a rhinoceros lasts quite a long time, around 15 to 16 months. Female rhinos usually only give birth to one calf at a time. The calf is called a calf and remains with its mother for several years before starting to live independently. Communication. Rhinos use various forms of communication including sounds, body movements, and scent markings. They may use snoring sounds, low pitch sounds, or warning sounds to communicate with each other. Conservation efforts. Various conservation organizations work with the government and local communities to protect rhinos and their habitats. Monitoring, captive breeding and community education programs are an important part of conservation efforts. It is important to continue to raise awareness about the importance of protecting rhinos and the ecosystems in which they live in order to ensure the survival of this species in the wild.